Nintendo just announced the new Switch Lite, which is technically not everything the Switch is famous for. We have new renders of the Galaxy Note 10 that show off the new color variants, and they remind us a lot of a certain device. And Trump's administration just gave us a little bit of uh, needed clarity for the Huawei case, though sadly not enough. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I cannot wait for a phone call from my 10-year-old to have a long conversation about the new Nintendo Switch and how much he wants the yellow variant. This is Paganel Daily. The official news today begin with deals. If you're in the market for a new Pixel, probably you received the promo code email that I received too, where you get up to $300 off a of Pixel 3 or Pixel 3 XL. The thing about it is, if you receive two emails, it's for a reason. The first uh, one had a wrong promo code that because of a glitch you weren't able to claim. Now there should be a second email with the right ones. You get from $200 to an extra $100 off depending on what particular case you're looking for. You can learn more in the description. And for those of you that claim that there are not enough Wear OS smartwatches out there, I'm actually one of them. Mobvoi just uh, came out with a new version of the Tick Watch Pro, now with 4G LTE. The company has re-engineered the watch, leverage its 4G LTE wireless connectivity. It's powered by the Snapdragon Wear 2100 SoC. Yes, not the 3100. It features one gigabyte of RAM, four gigs of storage. The display is the same dual approach from the standard version, meaning a 1.39 inch OLED uh, with 400 by 400 pixels in addition to an FSTN LCD screen to save up on battery life. Price tag is $279 and you will get it as soon as August 10th, 2019. Expect some coverage very soon as our unit has already arrived. Now let's talk about the greatest crossover since Avengers Endgame. Those of you that have been wanting to be able to watch YouTube on your Fire TV, now it's official that it's available, but also it's the other way around. If you have an Android TV or a Chromecast, you will notice that Prime Video is now available. And this is actually great. It's good to see companies working together. I don't necessarily see any catches as to loopholes. They have to go around to be able to purchase content or anything, which is great. But I'll be giving it a try soon and I'll let you know if it's actually that way. Obviously, again, it's great news. Now let's discuss the Huawei ban in the United States and specifically the fact that we had President Trump claiming that he was going to ease the ban on the company, but we didn't really get any specifics as to what. We finally get clarity until today. U.S. Commerce Secretary just said that they would issue a license to products that are not a threat to the U.S. They did say that Huawei is still on the entities list and doesn't change the scope of items requiring licenses. We still don't know if they can use Android or not, but we do know that Intel and Qualcomm have been silently rooting for the government to ease the ban as they state that smartphones and laptop servers are not security issues. And just to give you an idea, Huawei spent $11 billion purchasing U.S. equipment last year, so obviously a ton of companies are being affected right now. Uh, let's see how things evolve. It's obviously Android is our biggest concern here. And let's now talk about the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. Obviously, we're getting close to the impact event. We get more details as to essentials like color variants in addition to final design, which I am really liking a lot. We have a prism silver that looks a lot like the P20 Pro's gradient color and the usual black variant. This is actually the regular Note 10, which is why it lacks the extra camera lens. And Sam Mobile sources also tell us that the 5G variants of the Note 10 will bring from 256 to up to one terabyte. And that one terabyte variant is actually going to bring 12 gigs of RAM. Obviously, it's not a novelty to have 12 gigs of RAM at a time when the OnePlus 7 Pro has it pretty much on their $750 variant. But uh, we'll see how specs evolve and how that Pro variant is gonna differentiate. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with Nintendo's announcement of the new Nintendo Switch Lite. For those of you that have been wanting to pay less for the Nintendo Switch experience, it's here, but there's a catch. See, usually light versions of a product are just less powerful devices that provide the same experience or a slightly watered down one. This one is not. Think of the Switch Lite as more of a DS or Game Boy that can play Nintendo Switch games. This means that this is a handheld only device, so it won't come with a hub in the box and you can't just buy one and connect it to your TV. That won't work. Technically, you can play all existing games, but Nintendo made so much emphasis on games having to mention that they support handheld mode 
that it does make us think that we might see games that won't work in handheld mode in the future. The Joy-Cons are also built in, so don't break them. I've already replaced the pair on my Switch. Still, they do bring improvements and better directional controls as alternatives to the joysticks. This also means that controls don't have vibration or motion supports, but you can pair a standard set of Joy-Cons with it, obviously sold separately. Really, the only benefit over the standard Switch is improved battery life thanks to a better chip placement. Color options will be yellow, gray, and turquoise, and expect the launch in September for $199. Definitely, the Switch Lite is more of that Switch that you want to buy for your kids, but uh, it makes you wonder exactly how much is it better over the standard Switch for less than $200 of a price difference. Uh, it's not really that significant if you think about it. Let us know in the comments down below what do you think. I mean, do you like the Switch Lite? Do you not like it? Because in my case, for me, the whole concept of being able to dock it and undock it is really what makes the Switch special for me. I honestly don't, but uh, we will definitely review it and I could probably be wrong. Leave us a comment down below, let us know what you think. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram. And also follow me on my personal handles for extended coverage of what I do with these phones. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.